So, cold showers. Recently, they've been getting more and more popular, and probably all of you have wondered at some point, what are the benefits? Should I do them? Are they rainy? Negative sides? And so on. That's why in today's video, I will share with you the most important things you gotta know about cold showers, and then you can decide for yourselves whether you implement them in your daily routine or you avoid them in general. So, let's get started. First, I gotta say that cold showers are pretty good and efficient and healthy method to wake yourself up. So if you can find a way to add them into your morning routine, probably instead of coffee, it would be very beneficial for you. Because first you will feel way more awake and second of all, you won't have the negative sides of the caffeine that you drink. So you can substitute your coffee with cold showers. The other thing it does, it also releases endorphins and dopamine, healthy dopamine, which will definitely improve your day. And another thing that's really important, probably not for all of you, but some of you will find it really important, is if you start your day with a cold shower, you start your day with a win, because you've overcome that fear of the cold. You probably didn't want to straight go to the shower after you've waked up, but you still did it. You took control of yourself, so it's really important to start your day with a win in order for you to set the tone for the rest of the day. So, now I want to talk about if cold showers can reduce your gains in the gym. Now, if you've worked out for m muscle gain, like weightlifting, what I'd suggest you is you should try to avoid using cold showers at least for a couple of hours, because this way your muscles won't grow as much as they would probably go if you were to take a warm shower or just a normal shower. So try to avoid cold showers after these types of workouts. Now, if you're doing cardio or something like this, it's completely fine to do it after, to do it before, however you want, as long as it's not for muscle gain. The other thing that it helps with is if you have a big urge, for example, to watch porn or maybe to play video games or whatever your addiction is, if you take a cold shower, it would first help you take this thing off of your mind because you think about the cold. The second of all, you would have done something positive for yourself and after that, you won't really have the motivation to do that thing that degrades you. And it also replaces the cheap dopamine that you would get from doing that negative thing, that addiction, with healthy dopamine. And in some cases, it might even motivate you to do the work that you've been probably putting off for a long time. So, this one I wanted to share with you in today's video. I hope you learned something new. Leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.